Hello and welcome to this uh, walkthrough of Kinetic Text Animator. Now I am using a late beta so this area right here in particular will probably have more animations uh, than what you're seeing right now and there could be some other changes to the UI. But in general, Kinetic Text Animator is largely based around our text animations that are right over here. And if you look here on the timeline, each of these text animations, um, if I click on them, these are called anablocks and each one has the data that is for that particular animation. So you can see here, if I let me click on Pepper Blast, for example, that's the name of this animation, and has this text that it's using, and it's this color, the font, and, and so forth. We even allow you to specify the region uh, of the screen where it's gonna display for many of the animations. But each of the little blocks down here is uh, represents that, that data there. So what ends up happening when you are creating animations with Kinetic Text Animator is you just go ahead and put your text in whichever one of these animations that you like. You maybe will make some selections like, again, color, font, uh, with a selection on the screen. And sometimes they have some, um, some options here. This one has a lot, so that's why I went to that uh, as well. But, uh, and you can go ahead and um, once you're ready, you hit apply uh, or animate it and it creates one of these blocks. And so it, what the, the end result is, is that you can create animations very fast. Uh, the, the, uh, the program does most of the work for you. And you can adjust things like the time, like if I want to move this around, I can on the timeline. I can time it to my audio, or I can uh, make it, uh, if I drag it to the left here, I can, it'll, it'll hap animate much faster, and if uh, opposite, if I drag it over here to the right, it'll stretch out the time that it takes for that particular animation. So uh, you can really just kind of uh, adjust this to your, uh, your the, both the audio and the visuals. Now, uh, you'll notice here that we allow you, you have video, you can have multiple videos, uh, you can have different uh, graphic backgrounds, uh, we have crossfading um, and a lot more. So you can animate your uh, video or your, your text animations on top of other videos. Let's say that you have uh, an, an, a video that you really don't wanna have a text animation um, over the top of it. Uh, you can certainly do that. So, so I just, I've created a gap here and as this is playing, it will uh, play that. Now there's really nothing going on in that particular video, but you get the idea that let's say you made something with Easy Animator Pro or Groove Animator or any of your video programs and you wanted that to display here, you can. So basically, Connect Text Animator allows you to create a, a complete video, time it to your audio, you can even add sound effects if you want to, and, uh, and so forth. So over here we have uh, the library where you can do a search for the different assets. We have the background art, audio, video, um, we have buttons to find more assets, but all of them are keyword searchable if you've imported them. We give you the ability to import the background art and uh, audio. We also are going to be adding a video button as of the time of this uh, recording. It doesn't have, we don't have one, but you can import any of those uh, file types here. Uh, we can uh, uh, also, there's quotes and you can do keyword searches for the quotes. So maybe I want to do a travel uh, quote. And uh, so I can get those quotes, I can copy them and then paste them over here uh, and therefore create animations very fast. I will be adding a lot uh, um, to these, the quote engine all the time. Um, and again, you can import your own art and animations. Uh, if they're keyworded, then you can do keyword search here in the library. So uh, then we finally, we have the export options. You can export to MP4, M, uh, WebM, which is pretty unique. QuickTime MOV with transparency, uh, animated GIF, and, um, and so forth. So um, let's see, we also have some settings here. You can adjust the stage size, and uh, even there's an auto looping feature, or auto fade out for the audio, and lots of very kind of cool stuff there. So that is a general overview of Kinetic Text Animator, and the general idea is for you to be able to use the text animations very quickly and easily, that go ahead and pop in your videos or your animation backgrounds and your audio, any sound effects, and create a video very, very quickly and easily that's very professional and a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy uh, using Kinetic Text Animator as much as we enjoyed creating it.